1,100 subs! Hello friends, it is I, Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, here to celebrate 1,100 subscribers. 1,104 now? Which is just crazy. The channel is growing faster than I ever expected when I started this thing up. Faster is always better. Um, I'd like to plug a couple things before we get into the video. I've got my Twitter, Discord, Patreon links all down in the description if you'd like to support me on any of those because I'd really like a little more action on the Twitter, a little more action on the Discord, a lot more action on the Patreon, uh, of course. But that's not to diminish anything that has happened thus far. I do appreciate each and every one of you for even watching. Just clicking on this video, I'm like, hell yeah! <laughs> a view! Alright! They like me, they click. Alright, so, um, in this video I want to cover a few things. First is going to be like a montage, basically, of how far we've come, different, uh, technical upgrades and things that I've done. Uh, you'll probably also notice that my voice, my level of comfortability in front of the camera has increased significantly since my first few episodes, which I'm really, really proud of. I can now just spew information, keep talking for hours and hours at a time. And, uh, it's, that, that's a really good talent to develop, you know? You never know when you're gonna have to fill some gaps in the conversation. Maybe it's an awkward first date or something like that. I don't worry about that anymore, I'm married. Most video, most viewed videos, least viewed videos, also, like, why those worked would be really nice. I want to give thanks to a bunch of subscribers, a bunch of collaborators, and then at the end we'll have a little discussion on where the channel is headed and things like that. Folks, my name is Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Fart. I still remember how to do this. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> oh, he came out all by himself. That's so cute. The jockey has rock mastered rocket technology. Amazing. I would like to get some eggs. Eggs are pretty important in this game. And give me a monkey eggs. Yeah. Can I suck them to death? Maybe. Let's try it. Yeah. All right. Work like a charm, eh? I don't know if those things can hurt me. Please go away for a second. Ha! Save our fucking acorn from a fate worse than death. Or just death. That, that's pretty bad, too. And we do have thunder, so let's go for that. It misses, of course. No luck today. Just no luck today. Hopefully that's gonna turn around as we get deeper, because... Obviously, their levels are going up, and mine are not going up as fast. Fuck you, Allosaurus! You dick! <sighs> Just keeps eating my Deinonychuses. Three Tyrannosauruses are now rampaging through the park. That's not good. You guys, oh shit, oh fuck, watch out. Good thing there was nobody in the park, or that is just a lawsuit waiting to happen. Only when I move will the enemies move. So. In that way, it is extremely similar to Sword of the Stars, The Pit, and also um, Dungeons of Dreadmore. So I'm going to summon my Floriconda now. He can help me out with this jelly. And look, he loves me so much. These blue orbs will recover your mana. Um, so I probably want to use that just because I summoned a Floriconda already. Bye bye Wow, great job getting hot, Meg! Gee, thanks! So you can see here from my absolute top videos that most of them are Pokemon instructional guides, which is a really, really helpful thing to take a note of. A lot of people come on YouTube not necessarily looking for gameplay, but these guides, these reviews, things like this, they always perform really, really well on my channel uh, because most people are coming to YouTube looking for information most of the time. You know, it's nice to sit down and have a little bit of fun too, 
but the majority of users are here for informational guides, things like that. You can see some of the videos have done really, really well, and some of them have done not so well. I'm looking at that Logitech G600 reviews, 6 likes, 35 dislikes, wow. But you know what, I don't hide the dislikes because, yeah, it's a shitty video, you know? We learn from it, we move on. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't done any other unboxings or like technical reviews on my channel because uh, honestly, I don't know what I'm talking about. I just kind of like the mouse. I still use it, <laughs> but um, yeah, I I haven't had a very good response on that video. The other videos, the dislike ratios are looking pretty good, so I'll probably continue to make some content like that, uh, competitive Pokemon building guides and things like this. Uh, reviews, lots of reviews, of course, on the second page there. We've got Papers, Please, which is just a normal-ass playthrough, but since it says graphic nudity in the title, I think a lot of people clicked on that, so that was a, a good bit of clickbait on my part. Which, there were some, some nude people in that Papers, Please episode, so I wasn't necessarily lying, but that's how clickbait gets you. They, they tell a half-truth, and then you're like, oh, I want to see what that's about, and yeah. 2,109 people wanted to see what that's about. Only two dislikes, which I'm surprised about. Maybe they, they did find what they were looking for after all. We've got uh, Apotheon, Survivor Squad Gauntlets. Obviously my roleplay series are up there as well. The first episode of every roleplay series that I've started has done super, super nice. And we are going to be starting a new one soon, but I'll talk about that a bit more um, when we get to the... Uh, direction of the channel discussion at the very end of the video. There's timestamps for all that stuff in the uh, posted comment or the pinned comment so you guys can skip around the video as you please. Um, yeah, some reviews obviously have done really good, some reviews have done not so good, but the views are uh, a big factor for me in deciding which direction the channel is gonna go. Angvik, I was very surprised. I did it in one run, a little 10 minute video, and it's gotten a lot of views, mostly from Korea, which is interesting. I guess they really like that game over there. Um, and yeah, it, I basically called it a speed run, I think is why it got so many views. There's the second episode of My Morrowind, which obviously has some drop off from the first episode, but no dislikes, so that's super cool. <laughs> and then Grav, that, that was a let's play, but it just hit the, uh, the market at the correct time, you know? I was just playing through Grav, not expecting it to drop out of early access and become, come to a full release. And <clears throat> while I was doing the video series, it came to a full release. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> that was some, some lucky timing there. I'll take that any day of the week. <clears throat> so you can see a lot of what I'm successful for on YouTube is innovative things. Either informational things or innovative things. If you're just sitting down to do a Let's Play, it's probably not going to gain the amount of views you want unless you have a little bit of luck thrown in. You know what I mean? We've got uh, my least viewed videos now, which you're going to see probably a lot of just middle... <laughs> the middle part of uh, a Let's Play video. You know, a Let's Play series. So let's see what we have here. And one day... You're going to look around and you're going to realize that everybody loves you, but nobody likes you. And that is the loneliest feeling in the world. Omega Strike, Pokemon Clover, Hunt Showdown. Uh, these are all kind of newer, so I don't know if that's necessarily fair, but they're all middling, you know, uh, 10 to 13 views, which still is good for me, you know. When I first started the channel, I'd sit around and my video would have one view for just two or three weeks. Now that was depressing. <laughs> so whenever I get sad about like smaller numbers, I just kind of look back to the early days of my channel and I'm like, no, <laughs> we are we are progressing. We are going places. Probably not as fast as we want to, but you know what? Success is success. Moving forward is moving forward. We just got to keep doing that. So we got Into the Breach. That's the second part, which makes me kind of sad. Maybe people didn't like that series so much, but I enjoyed Into the Breach a lot. So, um... I think that's important, you know? If you get pigeonholed, like a lot of Minecraft YouTubers are successful, but then they end up playing Minecraft for a decade and they don't enjoy it anymore, you know? So I've always tried to keep the content on my channel diverse. Sometimes it backfires in my face. Um, you know, a lot of people aren't that interested in the more saturated games. Obviously, look at this Kingdom Rush. This is four years old, only has 11 views. 
You want to know why? A lot of people have played Kingdom Rush. That game is super, super saturated. Still technically an indie title, but um, yeah, you gotta look for those niche titles. Omega Strike, it did relatively well for the first few episodes, but I think I played through it a bit too slow, which also might be some of the, uh, some of the problems, some of the constructive criticism that I need to take on board is just to play through stuff faster. Because if you're not um, stomping through the game basically in a week or so, then people are going to find that content somewhere else on YouTube, somebody who did play it faster in a bit more timely manner. Um, yeah, I think it was like seven or eight episodes. So to get the entire game out, only those seven or eight episodes would take two months, you know? And by the time a game is two months old, Everybody's forgotten about it, you know? Nobody's searching for Omega Strike these days, unless they see it's on a Steam sale or something like that. So, um, yeah, a good thing to keep in mind if you're trying to make YouTube content. Let's see what else. We've got Receiver, that's a really old one. Basically, ugh, people just aren't that interested in Receiver. A lot of the Ludlum, Ludlum Dare games do really well. I think, uh, was that Maitre D did super good on my channel, which was like, you're a waiter that's like a snake or something, and you gotta go around and whatever, pick up the diners and put them at the table, it's kind of like a puzzle thing. But, um, yeah, it won the Ludlum Dare, it got a lot of renown behind it. Receiver, honestly, I missed the, the window on that one. <laughs> um, so nobody's searching for these these tiny little games after... It's, it's not evergreen content, is what I'm trying to say. Um, some videos are going to be good for, for YouTube, good on YouTube forever. They're going to gain views no matter what. Like those Pokemon guides, top 10 lists, informational stuff that people are going to be looking up if they buy the game. That is the kind of content that will always gain traction for your channel. Things like Receiver, honestly, even though it's a review, one, it came out super late, and two, it's one of those uh, extremely experimental indie games. <clears throat> Receiver's really nice because you get like full control of the weapon, you know, drop your magazine out, you have to do all this uh, complicated shit to reload like you would in real life, instead of just pushing, pushing R, you gotta like drop the magazine out, put a magazine in, pull the fucking thing back, and yeah, it's a lot, a lot more uh, in-depth and engaging, and that's why I decided to do a re review for it. I also think I had an extra key to give away, so that was a nice thing as well. We've got, uh, Ruiner. Ruiner didn't do too well on my channel. I think, again, I missed the window on that, kind of. I saw it when it first came out. Tried to get a key for it from the dev. I did not. So I put it on my wish list. Nico the Legend ended up buying it for me. And, uh, of course, I had to play through it at that point. A little bit obligated. And I think I did a pretty good job with it. Uh, the commentary probably was not the best looking back. I've tried to watch a couple of those videos and I go, man, I I just feel flat in the game. I'm not sure. I really enjoyed the game and the aesthetic and stuff, but I think there's just not enough to talk about, you know? It's it's basically a straightforward beat-em-up with a few skills, and while I did complete it, I, I somewhat, half of me wants to go back and redo it, but I know that's probably a, a waste of both of our time, so... I'm not going to. It is what it is. I can kind of just accept that it's uh, not the greatest series on my channel. And that's fine. That's why it's down here in the, the least viewed. We've got Hotline Miami. Oh my god, my very first Let's Play. That's probably why it's down here, because it's part number 9. The first part of Hotline Miami actually does have a good amount of views, because people want to see my roots and things like that. But after you hear the audio in the first episode, you're going to say, mm, no. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm never going to watch this again. So, uh, very few people have made it to part 9, and I couldn't blame them for that. We've got Cuphead, which is relatively new. Um, I guess not that many people are looking for help with the robot or Phantom Express. Or it's just too long of a video. People see 30 minutes of struggling with two bosses on Cuphead, and they're like, no, thank you. Uh, three likes, which I do like. That's a higher number of likes than most of these lower-viewed videos have gotten. But, uh, yeah, didn't perform as well as I'd like, obviously. And again, Cuphead is another super, super saturated uh, batch of content, if you want me to be completely honest. We've also got Project Zomboid Part 125. 
Heart 125 tells you why that's lacking in views, because, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's... it's rough. I mean, some people... Thank God for the people who watch the series consistently and comment on the series consistently. Otherwise, I would have made my character commit suicide a long, long time ago. White Noise Online with Playintosh and Red Solstice with Sun, who is Nico the Legend, back before he was Nico the Legend. Those are two collabs that um, <clears throat> sort of missed the window as well. I'm not against doing content a little bit later. Killing Floor 2? Those make pretty good views, I guess because people like to see a bit of gore on my channel. If you subscribe for Hotline Miami, then uh, you probably want to see some people uh, get messed up. You know what I mean? And these two videos don't necessarily do that. You know, one is a top-down RTS kind of strategy, team-based strategy. The other one is just like, jump spoopy horror scare video, and also the thumbnail is really not that good. Looking back at that white noise online one, mmm. Shameful. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. We do what we can do. That's true enough. I hope that was somewhat edifying for you. If you have any questions about those, feel free to leave them in the comments. Always love to talk to you guys. That's super, super great and uh, one of the major reasons that I do this channel. On that note, I'd like to uh, acknowledge this long, long list of subscribers that have motivated me from the very, very start of this channel. I wish you could really talk to me, because then we could be best friends forever and ever. Now, if there's one thing you can be sure of, it's that nothing is more powerful than a young boy's wish. Except an Apache helicopter. An Apache helicopter has machine guns and missiles. It is an unbelievably impressive complement of weaponry, an absolute death machine. Um, some of them have been active mostly in streams, some of them have been active mostly on my Pokemon content or my roleplay content, but all of them help to uh, keep the channel moving forward and keep me chasing that dream, you know what I mean? So I definitely appreciate the comments, I definitely appreciate you guys showing up, letting me know that you care, um, otherwise I honestly wouldn't be here, you know? I'd be like, okay, well, we tried it, shut it down, boop, but... There are people watching, you know, so I I couldn't be more appreciative, honestly. And so, without any further ado, uh, I'm just going to read through some names. If I remember something about them, I'll probably say something brief. At least I hope it's brief, because this video is going to be long as shit. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's how the dating do sometimes, too. Like I said, I'm really good at rambling these days. So, uh, Ramtide. Ramtide has been on the channel before. He's actually my buddy in real life. His name is Nate. And we did a Turtles in Time episode together, which I should have probably put in my favorite series. Holy fuck. That was a really good one, too. Uh, the views weren't great, but dang. Ramtide, he a good old boy. And we've also done some Left, Left for Dead together as well. Um, but yeah, you can see his face in the Turtles in Time one, which I think is super cool. MMX Akira, also one of my friends in real life, his name is Akio. Uh, he often visits my stream, he often gives me super chats and shit like that, doesn't make me say anything weird in the super chat, he's just like, here's a little bit of money, so I'm like, thanks bro, it, it makes it all worthwhile. Andrew Helseth, my ex-roommate, he works for Disney, he's a really really cool dude, even when he was my roommate, you know, he paid his rent early, that boy was just the best. And then, <clears throat> even after moving out, he's still following my YouTube channel uh, from time to time and leaving nice comments, which I do appreciate. Nico the Legend, you know that boy. Oh my god, he comments on everything. You're gonna see him all over the place. Uh, we've been friends for about three years, you know, he's one of my oldest YouTube friends that is still in the game. And uh, yeah, definitely go check his channel out. We've got Dale, who uh, used to do content with Nico, but they split up, you know, they used to be father and son, then they became scrub pub, and now Deal is kind of, uh, kind of stopped. A little bit. He made a video recently, but that's mostly because I pushed him. I was like, I want to see some content from you, come on, do it. Pagan Min stops by the streams often, as does Updog, Avion Avery. Psycho Whale. I haven't seen him in a while, but I really do hope that he comes back to the channel soon. Um, he hit me up on Twitter just the other day, so I know he's still stomping around here somewhere. Michael Shadow. He's in my Discord, so I really appreciate that. Leaves a lot of nice comments on my videos. Crimson Albedo. He really likes the review series and things like that. 
I give him a heads up for some of those cool games. He gives me a heads up for some cool games that he knows of. We've got a nice synergy. Algirdis Salamskas. Um, he's actually the one that suggested that I do a Morrowind roleplay, so I owe a lot of my channel success to Algirdis. He goes by the Insomniac Artist as well. Um, and he's just a really, really nice dude. He's always willing to offer help or advice if ever I need it. And he's in my Discord as well, so really, really cool dude. Anthony62490, uh, and Andy H, The Ravenquick, Roulette, Squeaky Smurf, Jinx Shaddix is all over my uh, Project Zomboid videos. Ravenquick, Roulette, Squeaky Smurf, those are all people that um, I've had a brief YouTube relationship with. Roulette and Squeaky, I did some collaborations with. Ravenquick, he's just a cool dude that uh, I talk to sometimes. Alchemy Man, The Anger 420, I've actually smoked a bowl with that guy. His name's Justin, I think. Uh, Major Missile loves Pokemon content. We got Chicken McNugly, Joe H. She started out with, for the roleplay content, but has transferred over to the Pokemon content, so I do appreciate that a lot. Teeny Dragon has been around the channel for a very, very long time. She also makes her own content, so you should go check her out. Anna Little Bird, she watches a lot of the roleplay, like, in succession, you know? She's like, I want to experience this whole series. I've not seen her recently, but uh, I definitely appreciate her words of encouragement when I was making the roleplay series and maybe having a little bit of doubt about it. Britopia is another uh, chick who makes some YouTube content, so you should go and check her out. Big T Anderson, he comments mostly on my Yoshi's Island series. Uh, but he also makes YouTube content, so big ups to that boy. We've had some good conversations. Sal from Doughboy Gaming. He loves that rap content that I make. He mostly did Pokemon content himself. Uh, I think he stopped YouTubing recently, but he's still a good guy. I'm sure he's around somewhere. We got JR, whose avatar is like a cat in a space helmet. You know, because JR is kind of a... <laughs> kind of a, a, a not-so-specific name, but... I do remember that guy. I wanted to say thank you to him. I'm not creative enough. He uh, he also role plays a Khajiit, so I gotta give props to that guy. Shaduxen, I met him on Rust. Sona Felice, I met him in a stream. Enderderps, Pure Mix, Urban Gameplay, also runs his own channel. Obsidia Zen, likes Pokemon. Afro God, Punisher Hotel. Punisher Hotel's used some of my uh, contents on his own website, so that's cool, helping me get a few extra views for some of those reviews, uh, specifically Rogue Legacy. We've got that guy who I think came in on Reassembly. A Simple Man, Deso Dog is from Russ as well. Kid Law. Kid Law came from Immune. Uh, we used to be friends on Steam, but I was a bit too busy. He got upset, and I think he's off the channel now, but I still remember him. I still want to thank him. No hard feelings. Matthew Ford, uh, also known as Fordy, before... Uh, before Awesome Knots went free to play, he bought me one of the new expansions, so big ups to that dude. Obviously, enjoying my Awesome Knots content. Mr. Saxon, Mr. Anglo Saxon, tip of the hat, um, had a suggestion in my 900 subs video for an Eminem diss track on my favorite video game for my 1000 subs. We're already up to 1100, but I do plan to do that at some point quite soon, so stick around. Kamers, he mostly does Geometry Dash content, you should check him out. Andy Roo, uh, he's from Rust. Brendan Schneider does Let's Plays under the name Cowboy Duke. Grubert Chewy... what? Grubert Chubby Cock? Grubert. That dude's just a meme lord, you know? We're friends on Steam, uh, he's memeing it up all the time, leaves weird comments on my profile, but I appreciate that a lot. A uh, couple more YouTubers we've got, Salty Stevie, who has helped out with uh, some voicing in my Morrowind content. Conquer87 helped out with my Maybot Run video. You should guys you guys should go check them out as well. We've got Fazic. Um, he used to comment a lot, but he stopped recently. Riley Smiley also used to leave a ton of comments, but I haven't seen him in a while. Emily Goldberg, she's still hanging around. I've seen her recently. Um, she's been around for literally four years, you know, leaving a lot of comments, so I appreciate that a lot. Maybe not enough uh, time for YouTube lately, but yeah, I'm glad to see that somebody has stuck around for that long. We've got Panic Rush Films, um, used to be pretty good friends with him, even on Twitter, uh, then he unfollowed and I'm like, I don't know why, see you later, but I think maybe he's still subscribed. He also has a YouTube channel though. 
We've got Tyler Swenson, Flaps has his own YouTube channel, Sean Arnold has his own YouTube channel known as The Arnold's Play. Sean Arnold is actually the one that uh, compelled me to make some competitive Pokemon guides because he wanted to know what Pokemon was all about and how to EV train and stuff like this. So he, he helped me get those videos that uh, got so very many views. They were at the top of my most viewed videos. So big tip of the hat to that guy. He also unfollowed me on Twitter. I'm not sure why this is happening. I guess I just talk too much shit on Twitter. Uh, Negative Nancy. She is mostly into the roleplay content. She's watched quite a bit of it, I do think, so definitely appreciate that. We've got Blackfinger, Avir Sados, Nathaniel Nash, Lizzie Shadowheart, Crimson Lynx likes Pokemon, Magdalena, Magdalena Polizuk. I haven't seen her in quite a while either, but she uh, used to comment quite a bit. Michael McClung, Here's Andy TV. Um, he's a YouTube creator that hasn't done anything in a while. The acquaintances are also kind of retired creators. We've got Sarah Sanchez, Chris Mulliner, Puka21, Grab a Pint. Puka21 and Grab a Pint, again, creators. Scarlet Someone, Greasy Grizz, Fen Cosmo, and Not Your Average Doll, who does Zombie Goomas Gaming. So, those are like all of the people that have commented with some regularity. If I missed anybody, I do apologize for that so, so much, because I appreciate each and every comment, but these were the ones that uh, stuck out to me the most within uh, within the the time frame of my channel starting and, and now. <laughs> so, I'm sure there's more to come, you know. Um, comments are, are kind of snowballing, you know. I, I dug way far back into the past, and I didn't see that many comments. And then as I come forward into the future, there's just more and more and more people that are uh, joining in on the content. So I do appreciate that a whole, whole lot. Thank you to each and every one of you. Peter, there's a lot you don't understand about police work. What's to understand? I watch TV. Come on, Joe, let's put this 70s siren on your car and go. Did you just wipe a booger on my roof? Let's go, let's go! Finally, I want to uh, address collaborators. We've had quite a few good collaborations on this channel, and just for a minute, I want to uh, shout them out and maybe play a little clip. We've got Nico the Legend. I play with this guy a lot. We've done Far Cry 5 collaborations. We've done Killing Floor 2 collaborations. We've done Red Solstice collaborations, and that dude is always down to play some games. We've done Rainbow Six Siege collaborations, yeah. That dude is always good for it. Uh, probably one of the people that I played with the most. So, big tip of the hat to that fella right there. Where, 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 oh where, god, I'm being attacked where. by a creepy crappler. I saw it. Yeah, you touched me and my most private parts. Only Dayton can do that. We've got my buddy Ramtide, who I mentioned in the subscribers listing. We played Turtles in Time together. We also did a little bit of Left 4 Dead 2. So, I always really have a good time. Obviously, he's one of my best friends in real life. We've known each other for almost a decade now. So, that dude is just amazing as a person. He's a little full of hate, but you know, it kind of balances out my, uh, m my happy-go-luckiness. You know what I mean? He, he can make me a little more hateful, I can make him a little more happy-go-lucky. And it's just uh, a really nice dynamic. It works well for us. Masters, they have fun! Fun! <laughs> oh god. I'm afraid. No! Uncle no. Touches! I'll see you soon! No! One's got fire, and one's got ice! One's got autism. <laughs> one's not nice. <laughs> Waldar of the Game Train, or the Game Train, that's what it is. Uh, he does a lot of retro content, mostly Sega Genesis stuff on his channel. We have played uh, Hammerwatch and Blood and Bacon together. He subjected himself to Blood and Bacon with me, which ended up being one of my least favorite series, but not not because of anything that he said or did. Um, yeah, it's just a really terrible game, so hats off for uh, him subject subjecting himself to that with me. If you combine purple and yellow together, what color does that make? Shit. <laughs> All the colors make shit. In this game, He's like yes. a hippie pig. We've got Squeaky Smurf. She has largely stopped doing YouTube content for now. Uh, I think she still does some tabletop gaming type stuff, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, not so much video games these days. 
We've done Left 4 Dead 2 together, and we've done Grand Theft Auto Online. A lot of Grand Theft Auto. Most of my videos in Grand Theft Auto are with Squeaky Smurf. We had a great time together. I hope that I can get her back sometime soon, because, uh, yeah. She's just, she's just a ball, you know? And, again, I'm more hateful than she is. She's more happy-go-lucky than I am, and we can kind of, uh, cross the streams and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. I think there's a really good dynamic going on there, so I really enjoyed the content that I made with her. I hope you're doing well, Squeaky. It changed my entire perspective on the world the day I felt a fucking fake boob. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Everything I know has been a lie! <laughs> <laughs> We've got Graham from Two Left Thumbs. Boy, this dude's blowing up. Let me tell you, I think he just hit 3,000 subscribers, so... Great, great job to you, Graham. We've only done one video together, which is super unfortunate. We we're gonna do Star Wars Battlefront 2 together, but, um, yeah, I think I had some server problems, or we thought that the content was kind of shitty, or I can't remember what happened. The one collab that we did publish was one episode of Chivalry Medieval War Fair, and, uh, I thought it came out pretty good. We encouraged everybody on the server to take away their weapons and fight everybody with fists and it was just some good times, you know? I really hope that I can get in with another collab. I've been talking uh, on Discord with him about it, so hopefully you'll see that soon, which would be really, really nice. Oh, don't don't move side to side when you're running at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was you! You just cut my fucking head off! <laughs> uh, yeah, I was just good. I was just trying to line up some sweet arrow archery <laughs> shit, and all of a sudden, <laughs> it's kind of hard when you're missing a head. I'm an archer too. That's what makes it even better. What you <laughs> chop? Ran up and was like, you chopped my head off with a fucking bow, with a butter knife. You just swung that shit pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> There's also Jeremy from the Game Gallows. This boy, he's been trying to play with me for a little bit. We did a Hero Siege episode together. Honestly, it's some of the best content on my channel as far as a back and forth between two people go, because. We are very different, you know, I'm more idealistic, and he's more realistic, and uh, I'm more os optimistic, and he's more pessimistic, at least, he won't he won't say that he's pessimistic, because he's like, I don't want a label or something like that, he'll probably even have something to say about um, what I, what I judge him for here, but he, that's, that's what I like the most about him, you know, he's always got a point of view. Even if it's different from mine, his point of view is always very strong, and I have to question my own point of view because his are so strong. You know what I mean? So he's just an awesome dude to collaborate with. I hope that I can get him back on the channel sometime soon. We've been trying to think of some stuff to do together, maybe Manhunt, maybe a little Alien vs. Predator or something like that, so you can look forward to that. For now, it's just Hero Siege, but it's it's some good content as well. I think everything's degenerate. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Well, as long as we were on an even... Yeah, like, missionary sex? Ew! What a fucking it, weirdo. Out of wedlock? Yeah. <laughs> fucking degenerate. <laughs> oh my god, man. Finally, we've got Plantosh. Mr. Plantosh himself. I used to collaborate with him so much at the beginning of my channel. We both had, you know, less than 100 subs, I think. And then we climbed up together. I think I started out, uh gaining a little ground on him or something like that. He ended up quitting, mostly because he had college and other stuff to do. I know that he's around on the internet somewhere, because for Christmas I said, hey, my Christmas wish is one more episode with Blaine Tosh, and he's like, hmm, be careful what you wish for. And yeah, I was hoping that means maybe we're gonna do it, so maybe I could pull him back in at some point. Right now his channel's largely gone dark for about three years, which makes me super sad because he is a fucking bro, and uh, I hope that he's doing well in his life and stuff like that. You know, life comes first, of course, but um, if he comes back to YouTube, that would also make me really happy. <laughs> so here's a little bit of Play and Tosh content. We did a lot together. Uh, Gary's Mod Elevator, Starbound, Project Zomboid. He's actually the one that bought me Project Zomboid, so thank you, Play and Tosh. Love you, bro. Miss you. Guess what? Us? Zombies are coming. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> don't die. Just don't die. 
Get in the get in the back room. Are you there? Are you are you inside? I I'm I'm swarmed. Fuck. You it's gotta get over. to the back room. Did you die? Oh yeah. No. Oh my god. That is that is so fucked up. They ate me. I good. managed. I managed to get some watermelon and carrots. We've got a. <laughs> I've lost my life for watermelon carrots. <laughs> what the fuck? I got three bananas. <laughs> <laughs>Finally, just a few things that I wanted to address about the channel. Um, we are going to be starting a new Fallout roleplay. Fallout New Vegas roleplay is coming every Saturday for the foreseeable future. We are going to be meeting a new character. His name is Nick. He was born in Gamora. And I guess you have to find out a bit more about him. I'll let him, I'll let him tell you himself. But suffice to say, he's going to have quite an interesting adventure as far as I can tell it. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to be getting back into the roleplay. I think we've taken a nice long break, enough for people to catch up on content if that's what they were looking to do, and, you know, we might even see Brandar at some point in the future, although I don't think it's going to be a Nyx roleplay, but I will say that the tale of Brandar has, has hardly begun to end. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, on top of the Fallout New Vegas roleplay, We've got the Sunday vlogs, which is another thing that I want to start doing. I have a lot going on in my life that I want to talk about recently. Um, a lot of that has to do with, you know, this week we had a baby. <laughs> That's a pretty big thing, you know? I've started to bring my family more into the channel, you know? This started out as a very, very solo endeavor. And that's the way that I wanted to keep it, just so I didn't have to depend on anybody else. And largely it still is kind of that way, you know? But I'm not going to hesitate to bring somebody else in uh, if I think that the content could be better for it, or something like that. You know, I really enjoyed Ibn Ab and The Walking Dead with my wife, because, again, we have those two very different points of view, which is one of the things that I enjoy the most in uh, my friendships and my relationships, it's just helping one person see the other way and stuff like that. So, The Walking Dead, we had a lot of uh, differences in opinion and stuff like that, and it's it's kind of fun to, to watch people hash it out. So, yeah, I, I plan to bring my family in just a little bit more, stuff like that, once little Bobby's old enough. Bobby Dayton, see, he's, he's Bobby Dayton, I'm Brandon Dayton. And then I could say stuff like on King of the Hill, you know, I'll be like, God damn it, Bobby. The boy ain't right. Stuff like that. Except he's gonna be right. He's an angel. You, you hardly hear him at all, you know? He shits his pants and he's just like, whatever. Change it when you're ready. <laughs> so, he's he's a great kid already. I can tell. Um, we've also got my daughter, you know? We've done a lot of eating challenges and stuff like that together. She did the Matchy Gotchi Takeover. Still one of my favorite videos on the channel. So, um, I'll probably be bringing her in for some more stuff, you guys can look forward to that. Or skip it completely, but it's hard to ignore a cute little girl on the thumbnail, isn't it? I think so. So, <laughs> I'll definitely be bringing her back in. And she loves it too, you know? She's always asking when we're gonna record another video. And they're all going to be in my life for a long time. Forever, basically. Until I'm dead, you see? So we're gonna keep, keep that content flowing, you know? I'm not... I'm not so uh, hesitant to bring somebody else in on the channel on a regular basis. So you guys can look forward to the vlogs where I talk about my life and or events going on in the world. And uh, the gaming world, of course. The real world and the gaming world. And then uh, we can also, you know, maybe if there's not a whole lot going on that week, just, just have a little fun. You know, sit down and do something interesting and different. Um, which I've always done on my channel, basically. Not hesitated to try new stuff, but I just want to keep you guys abreast that that is going down on Sundays. So if you don't want any of that, then just close your eyes on Sundays. <laughs> um, additionally, we've got 
like some some doubts about streaming you know I haven't had many people show up to streams lately um, I want you guys to let me know if it's because of the time difference or what's going on because I like to stream you know it was a thing that I was doing regularly and I had people showing up uh, at least one or two and watching consistently and the past couple weeks it's just been completely dead so um, let me know what what the deal is. Should I continue streaming? Should I just stick with on-demand content? Or, um, yeah. I've been having just a few doubts about that. If you do want to see me stream a little bit more, if you want to see some on-demand content a little bit more, like I said in the beginning of the video, we do have Patreon. Finally, uh, Far Cry 5. Let me know how you guys feel about that. The views started out really strong, 30 views uh, an episode kind of stuff, and then most recently it's dropped off to, you know, 5, 10, stuff like that, so I, I get that the most series go like that, you know? You get the first few episodes out and then people are like, okay, I get what it's about, bye! It's going to be a really long series, if, as far as I can tell, so should I just pump the brakes on it right now? Should I continue and try and finish it? Should I make up my own ending, as I do for most of these role plays around here? That could be an interesting thing as well. So yeah, let me let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I'm already having a little bit of trepidation about it, but you know, in the end, this YouTube thing is mostly for funsies at the moment. If I get enough Patreon, enough supporters, uh, grow big enough, then obviously it will be something that uh, I use to pay the bills. But right now. It's, you know, an extra hundred dollars every six months or something like that. So while that's nice, it's not completely crucial to my uh, to my livelihood or anything. But I do appreciate it so much. All right. Well, I think I've rambled far, far too much for this video. If you've made it this far, I thank you. You're, you're a hero among men. You know what I mean? But I just wanted to let you guys have a little bit more insight, you know, I think that's largely what the vlog thing is going to be about. You you know about Dayton through video games, but who is Dayton really, you know? How do you how do you really get to know someone, you know? I'll, so I'll sit down here and, and talk about what's really going on. The truth. The unadulterated truth. And hopefully it's mostly going to be good stuff, but you know, I might have something to complain about every once in a while. Um, I'm not a big complainer in my personal life, I'm just kind of like, eh, whatever, laid back, but uh, you never know. So stick around for those Sunday vlogs, see what happens. I think it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, and then it'll also be a good chance to uh, get some hot keywords, you know what I mean? If I would have done it during the uh, 2017 elections, then, you know, you put Trump in there, and boom, your video blows up to 100,000 views. So <laughs> that's at least kind of what I'm hoping for, but who knows, you know? Anything could happen in this crazy YouTube game. One of my weird music videos or something like that could pop off on Reddit and uh, I could I could blow up tomorrow, you know? The internet is just a strange, strange place. So I'll keep my nose to the grindstone. You guys, please, please keep on watching. Um, you don't have to watch everything, of course, but it's just, just a little click every now and then. Say hi to your old buddy, Dayton does. <laughs> Alright, anyways, I've begged quite enough, I've, I've thanked you quite enough, I guess. Well, it could never be enough thanks, actually. But, that's gonna be it for now. Watch the end of the next video if you wanna, if you want some more thanks. <laughs> anyways, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for taking me to 1100 subs. That is so many people. That is more people than I thought I would ever know in real life. <laughs> you know, uh, I think scientists have said you can have around 50 friends that you remember stuff about. So I'm surprised that I remembered as many subscribers as I did. You know, um, if you're a, reg a regular commenter, I missed something about you, then, then I do apologize for that. Just comment a little bit more and, and you'll, you'll jump to the forefront, I'm sure. Anyways, friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been 1,100 subs, a very, very long, self-made, somewhat kind of channel retrospective, but I hope that it was insightful for you. If you're looking to start a YouTube channel, let me know. I've, I've got plenty of tips. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got tips up the yin-yang. And then, uh... Yeah, it would be nice to just collab with you or something like that. I don't discriminate based on channel size or whatever. 
which uh, a lot of people seem to do. They're like, oh, you're, you're going to steal my subs. It's like, dude, you know you can have an unlimited amount of subs. That's absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah, I'll cross-promote. I'll share whatever I got with you, and uh, maybe we could be friends. I like making friends on the Internet. Anyways, please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this video. I will see you at 1,200 subs and also in the Sunday vlogs. And also probably uh, whatever videos you decide to click on during the week. That would be great as well. Uh, don't forget Twitter, Discord, Patreon links all in the description. I think I've plugged that three times in this video which might be a little excessive so apologies for that. <laughs> I will see you in the next one friends. Thank you once again for watching and until then. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.